Welcome to Heswell Methodist Church on Easter Sunday 2022. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed, hallelujah. As we come to worship, may we, like the women at the empty tomb, celebrate and share the joyous news of your rising, of love, hope, forgiveness and freedom. Risen Christ, draw close as we worship. Amen. We sing together the hymn, Christ the Lord is risen today. Jesus from the grave, bringing us victory over death and giving us eternal life. Glory to you, O Christ, for us and for our salvation. You overcame death and opened the gate to everlasting life. Glory to you, O Holy Spirit. You lead us into the truth and breathe new life into us. Glory to you, Father, Son and Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. And our first reading is from the Old Testament, from the book of the prophet Isaiah, the 25th chapter, reading from verses 6 to 9. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food a feast of well-matured wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-matured wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. 
he will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The Gospel according to Luke, chapter 24, reading from verses 1 to 12. But on the first day of the week, at early dawn, they came to the tomb, taking the spices that they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you, while he was still in Galilee, that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified, and on the third day rise again. Then they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. That was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women with them who told this to the disciples. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. But Peter got up, ran to the tomb, stooping and looking in, he saw the linen clothes by themselves. Then he went home, amazed at what had happened. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Some words of reflection. Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you. How could those women at the empty tomb remember? With weeping and sorrow, they had shared his agony on that Friday, witnessing him cry out, it is finished. And the last breath of their beloved as he hung on that cross. So they ran back and they told the disciples. And all the disciples did was think it was an idle tale, or as one translation puts it, nonsense. Today, we're celebrating that nonsense or idle tale, that idle tale beyond our human imagining. We celebrate the message of resurrection, forgiveness and abundant grace, the grace that is beyond measure. Our lives are touched by hope, astounded by the love of Christ, love that bore nails, hammered through flesh and bone, love that was rejected, betrayed and abandoned, love that was too strong to be bound and held by death, love that burst forth from a tomb with the rising sun, the joy of Easter is perhaps not only that God has raised Christ from the dead, Easter joy is also about the possibility and the promise that regardless of what our lives are like here and now, new life is available to each one of us today. Nothing is the same. Everything has changed. Of most significance, as we celebrate Easter, is perhaps not what we do today, but what we do tomorrow, the day after and the day after that. How will we know? How will we now live differently in the light of the resurrection? Jesus did not die and rise again so that we might continue life just as usual. If this new life and new freedom do not change us, perhaps we might as well put the stone back over the entrance of the tomb and let the women's story remain an idle tale. Let's take a time to sit quietly, to think about how our lives might be changed.
a time of prayer. Holy God, we come to you today with our prayers. We pray for our world. We pray for the church. We pray for all those striving for justice and peace. We pray for those who are unwell. We pray for those grieving for the loss of their loved ones. We offer all our prayers in and through the name of the risen Christ. Amen. As our Saviour taught his disciples, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We sing together the hymn, You Shall Go Out With Joy. glory Christ was raised from the dead. Strengthen us to walk with him in his risen life. And may almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.